Today we're gonna learn the ins and outs of smart filters in Photoshop and how to combine that with blend modes to create some awesome effects. So without any further ado, let's get started. So here we are in Photoshop and if you want to use this image, make sure to go ahead and check the links in the description to download the same. Okay, so first off, before you do anything, convert this into a smart object. Why? To apply smart filters and also, if you apply anything, there will be a lot more options. Besides of the fact that it being non-destructive, there will be many more options which you can customize to get some really nice effects. So first of all, let's unlock the background layer by clicking on the lock and then right click on it and choose convert to smart object and it converts that into a smart object then what you need to do let's go ahead and try converting this to a smart object from a background layer. let's see whether that does it or not so if we right click on this there is no option to convert the, that into a smart object so you first need to just unlock it and then convert that into a smart object just a learning there okay now let's apply some effects how about a Gaussian blur filter blur Gaussian blur Okay, that's a normal blur, right? Click OK. But here's the deal. You can just switch it off, switch it on. That's the basic thing. You knew it, right? But here's what's interesting. You can add a mask to it. Click on the mask. Suppose you wanted to erase this area. Just take the brush and maybe paint this area with black. And by the way, what's the concept of mask? Black conceals, white reveals. Black are the areas which doesn't show up, white are the areas which show up, whether that's an effect, a layer, or an adjustment layer, whatever that is. So for smart filters, you have a different mask, right? The mask of the layer is different. If I create a mask, that's a different thing. But smart filters have their own mask. That's number one advantage that you get. Now you can just delete it, make sure the foreground color is black, and then just you can just make this area non blurry and you get the idea apart from this you can do a lot of other interesting stuff just click on this okay just double click on this icon on the right hand side of the Gaussian blur and there you'll find the opacity of the effect right think of it like this you made a copy of this layer applied Gaussian blur and the opacity of that layer that's the same opacity right here so you can decrease the opacity of creating it a soft focus, soft light effect. Okay, that's something you can do. Apart from that, apart from that, which is more interesting, you can change the blend mode to say soft light. Have a look. This gives it a really nice soft contrast. Click OK and have a look at the before and after. So this is the before, this is the after. It gives it a really soft contrast. Double click on the Gaussian blur to select the value. So this is very harsh. You want to make it a little soft. See? soft contrast effect. Isn't that wonderful? Also recently, I've been receiving a lot of requests on how to add a particular kind of texture to your photos. It's also really simple. Let's go ahead and delete the smart filters. All you have to do, it's really simple. Filter, then you have this pixelate. The lot of things that you can do. Let's try, say, mezzotint. And it doesn't look right here, but let's just apply maybe long lines, coarse dots, a lot of things, short strokes, long strokes, Okay, so this is how that looks. Let's just click on the minus button. Okay, and once you're satisfied, click OK. And this is non-destructive. You can always go ahead and change it. Now, instead of it being looking like this, what you can do, just click on this and change the blend mode to whatever you like. You can try darken, see? You can try multiply. You can try soft light, which is my favorite. Have a look, you have added that. Now decrease the opacity. There you have added that texture. Also, you can go ahead and just double click on this and try in different ones, maybe short strokes, long lines. Look at the texture. Now, it won't be visible right now. Click OK and filters, it processes that. Have a look at this. Isn't that wonderful? So this is the before, this is the after. If you think it's too much, you can always go ahead and decrease the opacity of the same. So this is nice, that looks good. Also, let's look at some other textures. Let's go ahead and delete that again. and. We are just trying out different things. Okay, so filter. Let's give it a blur first. Let me show you something interesting. Blur, Gaussian blur. Okay, so let's give it a little blur. Okay, that's nice. And then you can also apply shape blur. Shape blur is also very interesting. Let me show you shape blur. This is Gaussian blur we have already done. Let's try shape blur. Filter, blur. Show all menu. There's a thing called shape blur. And using this, you can add blur of a shape. 
just like a bokeh. So see, we have chosen this shape. So we don't want this shape. Banners, all animals, objects, simple shapes. Okay. See, there are a lot of shapes that you can choose from. And um, let's select all. Let's choose a simple shape that you want. Maybe a square or anything like that. Doesn't really matter. I want to choose a simple shape. Just like this, probably just like a square. This is fine. And give this, giving this a square shape-ish. See the blur effect? Click OK. You can also try Gaussian blur. You can try different stuff. But let's apply this one for this. OK. Now once you apply that, you can actually stack in different effects and also change the order later. So what you can do, you can go to Filter, Pixelate and maybe Crystallize. And that's fine. That looks great. Maybe cell size increase it a little bit. Click OK. Let's see how that looks. Well, that looks nice. Now, if I change the blend mode of crystallize to say soft light, let's see how that looks. And then maybe bring up the face. Let's just, it's just opening. Yes, it takes time. When you apply smart filters, it does take time. First of all, it's non-destructive. And then it takes an extra processing time because it gives you a real time result. Okay, so let's change that to soft light. There we go. Let's see how that looks. That looks nice. Okay. Now, how about changing the order? Crystallize, shape blur above crystallize. Let's see how that looks. Now let's reveal the face. So select this, take the brush. We're just playing around, by the way. Just reveal the face. Let's see how that looks. And just paint in certain areas. Flow is low. Flow is around 10-ish. Just reveal the areas which are, which are supposed to be revealed. Just like this. And and by the way, there's a complete tutorial on blurring the background. If you want to check that out, you can go ahead and check that out. This is just, we are having fun here, right? So you can apply certain effects like that. Maybe decrease the blur. This is too much blur. So just go ahead and select the shape blur and decrease it. That's too much. So just double click on the shape blur button. And then let's go ahead and decrease the radius to around this number and once you're satisfied click OK. There are a lot of other effects that you can apply by the way. Let me show you some other effects which is going to be fun. So let's go ahead and delete all the smart filters and then go to filter, maybe stylize and then let's try extrude. Now extrude is a really nice effect. 30 pixels it's fine. Click OK. You need to play with the values and see which one works for you. This is a really nice effect. It gives a really nice uh, distortion effect. Now you want to keep the face out of this. So you select the smart filters Take the brush, make sure the foreground color is black and paint right here in the face. Just soft. Just have a look at what a nice effect it creates, right? So you can have something like this for your port. So isn't that wonderful? That looks nice to me. Let me show you some other awesome effects that you can try and apply. Go to filter. Then there's stylize. Under stylize, there are some interesting effects like say emboss. Now under emboss, there are height and amount. Now amount controls simply to be putting simple, the opacity. That's pretty much it. And height controls the height of the embossing. Okay. And angle is the angle, right? So what's the angle of light or the embossing, the bump? Okay. Height, if you increase the height, See the height of the embossing increases and amount is just the opacity, right? If it's one doesn't show up, it's just, just like that. So let's keep a height of say 16 or something like that. It's fine. Amount is fine. Now we just want to emboss the walls. We don't want to emboss the model. So, so any kind of texture your image has, just like the walls, you can use this to enhance that texture. Click OK once you're satisfied. And then it has to be a flat texture, by the way. And then go to the emboss properties, just Click on this small icon that we worked on before and change this to overlay. Let's see how that looks. See the walls, but the model doesn't look right, right? So overlay looks right. How about soft light? That's also good, but overlay was better. Then you can go ahead and decrease the opacity if you want. Click OK. Now, we want to delete the effect from the model. Click on this mask. Take the brush. Black is the foreground color. Increase the flow 100%. Let's just, we don't want the embossing right here. We just want it on the walls. There we go. Let's just do it carefully. Okay. Have a look at the before and after. So this is the before 
this is the after embossing on the walls. There's so much more you can do. You can go to filter galleries. Let me show you. You can go to filter and then filter galleries. And inside of filter galleries, again, there are a lot of effects that you can try from, change the blend modes, and maybe increase or decrease the opacities. And maybe you'll come up with something awesome. Hope this video helped you. And if it did, make sure to give us a like. And also, don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you, my friend, don't miss a thing. I'll see you guys in my next one. Until then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.